Before we can send a command to the Aspen box, we must make sure that we set up the same IP address in the Aspen device that we set up in System Manager, which in this case is 192.168.1.200. So let's do that now. Okay, now let's spin the rotary wheel. We want to navigate to Network Settings. So let's go to System, press on the center of the rotary wheel, and now you're in the System Setup menu and spin the rotary wheel, go to Network Settings. Click the center of the rotary wheel, and now we see all of the network settings. Let's navigate up, spin the rotary wheel counterclockwise. Let's go up to 195. We want to change this to 200. Once you're there, click the center of the rotary wheel. It will become selected and adjust it to 200. Now click the center of the rotary wheel to lock it in, and at this point, what we want to do to verify that it grabs the IP address, we're going to power cycle the box. So simply power off the unit, and then once you do that, let's power it back on. And we're going to navigate once again over to the settings to see if it indeed grabbed the IP address that we wanted. So let's go over to Sys again, click the center of the rotary wheel, and uh, let's navigate to Network Settings click the center again and we see that it's a 200. Now the Aspen device is ready to receive commands.